welcome back. This is Retro82 back to update this channel again. I'm still collecting video games, still adding to the collection, just kind of slowed down a little bit. Uh, overall, I got some good pickups from the places I went to. I went to a multiple places. First was uh, Flashback Video Games, Macari. The other one was uh, Half Price Books, Goodwill, and also I think it was Texas Thrift Store is another one. Also went to GameStop as well. But overall, pretty good picks for the collection. Some filler titles and also some heavy hitters too as well. So overall, some good pickups during these past few months. Uh, it's been a little bit slower finding games. If you notice, the craze for video games has, had, has been getting bigger. And the prices of these video games have been going up. I've seen a little bit of a downturn. So certain game systems have been dropping in price. But a majority of them, like GameCube, Nintendo 64, those have actually been getting higher in price. But overall, good pickups. So first off, let me go with the ones I got first here. And the ones I got from uh, actually Game Over Video Games is another store I went to. And I got three games from them. And the first one is uh, Chess Master for the PS2, which is more of a, likely a filler title, complete game disc and manual. And for these games, you can actually get in really good uh, condition. The reason why these aren't really big name titles, so you're usually going to get them complete and good quality. So I picked up that one. Next one I picked up is uh, Worms 3D. Um, Pretty good PS2 game, not expensive at all. It's on the lower side for video games, so it's pretty fun to play if you want to try it out. The uh, reason why, uh, one of them that's pretty expensive that's been away from me from getting is that Worms Armageddon for the N64 still need that game to add to the collection. So nowhere near that yet, but at least I got another type of uh, replacement for that. So Worms 3D for the PS2. This one's not like the original Worms games, it's a little bit different kind of play style. And last, what I got from uh, Game Over Video Games is the Scorpion King for GameCube. Another filler title. This one's not complete, it's just the disc and the case. And of course, GameCube games are pretty expensive, so it's hard to add uh, games to that co uh, collection unless I can find it somewhere like a yard sale or a thrift store for cheap. Uh, next place I went to was actually Goodwill, and I got a lot of games from them. For a while, the Goodwills around my area were running out of video games for a long time. The reason why a lot of people were buying them out, selling them on uh, Macari, selling them on Facebook Marketplace for higher prices and bumped. And the prices were even worse than uh, price charting had them. So people were upping them by 10 to 50% higher than what uh, they would see on price charting. After the craze, everybody started increasing the prices thinking they have gold. But games are games, you know. They, sh they fluctuate within price. So first one I got was actually one PS4 game, and it's uh, Steep. Uh, picked up this one. My kids said it was a really fun game, so I picked it up so I can play with them on this game. This one is just, of course, the disc and the insert in there as well. Next one I picked up was uh, Mystery Case Files of the Mulgrave Incident for the Wii. I have one of these ones, but not this one. So Mystery Case Files, I know they made multiple games for this for the Wii. Don't have this one, and this one is complete in-game case and manual. Next, I picked up an anime from... Uh, of course, from Goodwill, since they're cheap, these are usually like $1.99 to 50% off when it's at Goodwill. Uh, this one is Dragon Ball Z GT Salvation. Like I said, pretty cheap. Usually collect it, give it to friends, so it's not really towards a collection or anything. Usually if I find something like that, I give it to some of my friends who are really into anime. Next up is PS3. It's Start the Party for from Goodwill. Like I said, this was like $2.99. Complete case and manual com uh, in really good condition like I said more of the common games you can usually find this one was pretty nice uh, PlayStation 2 greatest hits the crash nitro cart and that one was uh, 2 dollars plus I got a discount on that too as well complete game case and manual only problem it actually has the name of the original owner on the top there but overall you could replace the case for a really good condition crash team uh, nitro cart next one I picked up was uh, the Da Vinci Co for the PS2 pretty good condition and I think this one I do not have to as well so all these games I do not have so these will be all added to collection complete next one is CSI crime scene investigations three dimensions of murder uh, no manual on this one just the game and case don't have that one and of course more filler titles like uh, Brett's Rock Angels like I said these are coming from Goodwill so anything that can complete the PS2 which is a huge library anything I can get close as I can I'll try to collect it for the collection so complete in case next one is Activision Anthology for the PS2 complete in case with disc and manual in really good condition here uh, next one up is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory PS2 I'm not sure if this one should be just the case and the disc yep, case and disc only 
And I already checked the discs on the before I leave Goodwill. They usually ask you to check the case and see the discs if they're in good condition before you leave the building and pay for the for the full price of it if it's not going to be in good working order. Last one is uh, actually MX Rider, but this one made me laugh because it was actually a better game in there. And it was uh, Tenchu Wrath of Heaven. And if you know, I'm a big fan of Tenchu, uh, Tenchu games. Uh, it reminds me of like the Metal Gear Solid gameplay. Really awesome game, but it was only $2.99, but for disc only, I'm happy with that. Next place I went to is actually Macari Online. I purchased a lot of stuff for the, my Nintendo collection and my Sega, Sega Saturn collection. Uh, Nintendo's hard to find out in the wild for uncommon games, but I did get some pretty good common and uncommon games for the NES. So first one off is Battle Chess. I actually had this when I was younger too. I actually like playing this game. I like the animation of the um, chess uh, pieces that actually come to life and you actually battle with them instead. So it's pretty neat, interesting game. Pretty cheap game if you want something interesting. It's, it is chess, but it's fun to play. Uh, next one is a pretty good pricey one, uh, Shingen the Ruler. Uh, pretty good game, I'd say. It's a strategy, strategy based game, but overall good condition. Like I said, I try to get these in as good condition as I can get, but Shingen the Ruler for NES. Next one is a funny game. Uh, you you wouldn't see this kind of game out in the in the nowadays, but caveman games here. And there's some sketchy stuff on this one, but it's actually a fun game to play. Uh, next one is a one I like to play a lot too. Is uh, Adventures of Lolo. Uh, I think it's Lolo Three is the one that's uh, actually the high priced one version of it. So I actually need this one too as well. So Adventures of Lolo. And the last one's kind of a more expensive game. It's a uh, more uncommon wise. It's a uh, Daydreaming Davy. Uh, this one I used to play when I was younger too as well. It's funny because it's basically what it is is Davy, he daydreams in school. And what happens is a bully steals his pencil and he tries to go after it. And by that time frame he starts daydreaming these, like, daydreaming and doing adventures. And all you're doing is trying to find a pencil for you. Like, get your pencil back from a bully. It's pretty crazy, but pretty obscure kind of game. But it reminds me of a... Legend of Zelda Link to the Past kind of game style or Legend of Zelda the first one for the NES it's kind of a mixture of those two games how the gameplay is pretty interesting game though last two I got are Sega Saturn games for uh, the first one is uh, Andretti Racing and this one is complete case and manual and the disc but of course you already know with these Sega Saturn ones they're so brittle that the tabs on the top on this one is broken but it's in actually pretty decent condition and even for common games like these are pretty pricey and last but not least for the Sega Saturn is Virtual Fighter 2 complete in good condition disc case and manual and I'm surprised I can find this one for a really low price I think it was like 15 bucks I found out Macari for got lucky and picked it up for a really good price next up I went to uh, Texas thrift store, which I always find some good stuff from there, and I only got two items this time frame. It was like half priced at four ninety nine, so it was like a roughly around two dollars and something cents each. Uh, first one is Speed Kings for the Xbox, and this one is complete disc case and manual. Another one is a game I really like for the Xbox, but I'd rather play it on the PS2. It's a Destroy All Humans, but if you want a cheap game for a really fun to play and really interesting to play, Destroy All Humans for PS2 or Xbox are a really good game to pick up for a good price. And this one is complete, game, case, and manual. Uh, other games I picked up, I went to GameStop, picked up one Nintendo Switch game, had a lot of in-store credit still, so I actually picked up this one for free, I think it was like $15, $20, and I had a lot of in-store credit, so I got it for free. And this was is Chris, Steel, Chris Tales, if I'm saying it wrong, I'm not sure, it had a lot of really good popular reviews on it, so I was going to try it out, but overall for a free game with all the store credit I had, picked it up for free. A uh, couple more places I went to was Half Price Books, this one had two regular games and one really good game that I actually liked. Uh, first one is for PS1, it's Star Trek Invasion. And this one's complete. Uh, have a friend who actually likes Star Trek a lot, so I like it too as well, and I, he'd probably be interested in playing this one a lot, so Star Trek Invasion. Next one is Soviet Strike for the PS1, and this one's complete. Cheap game for PS1, but in really good condition and case. And I always pick the PS1 games when I can find them if I don't have them. So overall, pretty good for those two. Uh, last but not least, a really heavy hitter for uh, PS2. It's actually a game I wanted to play and haven't 
had wasn't able to find it for a long time but now I actually did and then it was actually a pretty good price I think it was like 30 bucks for it and I think for a price charting it goes for like 40 50 dollars around there so Wild Arms 4 for the PS2 so I got another RPG for the collection and this one's an excellent condition game case and manual uh, and also disc and this one's a really interesting game I want to see how the mechanics work on this uh, gameplay RPG uh, overall really happy with this pickup too this one's a little bit pricier in the range that I usually buy but happy to have this to the collection last but not least I went to uh, flashback uh, video games this one's in San Antonio lo local video game store a uh, really nice guy there um, had a lot of stuff I used to sell from Macari and I just had some bulk uh, filler titles Turned them all in and got store credit for it. And what I did was about 20, 30 games that are basically common titles, cheap sports games and other stuff like that. Gave me a good deal and I picked up two games. So he gave me about $70 store credit and I still have some store credit left. First game he I picked up was Adventure Island for uh, Super Adventure Island for the Super Nintendo, which I love this game. I have the uh, first and I think the third one for uh, NES. And now I have the one for Super Nintendo. All I need is Adventure Island 2, and I have the complete set of all the Adventure Islands. Happy with that pickup. And last but not least, uh, for the N64, getting closer and closer. I think I'm like less than 30 away from completing the set uh, for N64. In the next video, when I do another update, I'll let you know what exact number it is. But for this one, it's F-Zero X. Kind of funny that this game I don't have out of the 260-something games I have, and I don't have this game. So... Pretty nice to have it, and this one's in really good condition, so getting closer and closer to that complete N64 collection. I know it's going to take me a while still, because those last ones are heavy hitters, but overall, happy with what I picked up. Again, thanks for watching this video. It's been a while. Glad to be back and started making more video content for you guys in the future. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.